I've been um meaning to um do this video for a while, but I haven't um gotten a chance to do it because there was other things that was going on. Um, but um, what's going on, everybody? By the way, um, it is Monday. It is uh, May twenty first, two thousand and eighteen. Um, you know, glad everybody had a good weekend, or hopefully, we'll have a productive week um but first things first um as you know and i've done a couple of new edition um videos you know and i said i am the official spokes the official new edition um network because i probably know more about the group than any other person out there you know just being sarcastic but really truthfully i do because a lot of people you know, they just telling half truth, saying new edition is done, uh, new edition is forever done. They have trademarks, so you know, I try to get the truth and try to give out the truthful information that is out there. Um, those of you that follow the NBA playoffs, they have been blowouts in the playoffs, and they just haven't been fun to watch. I mean, all the games have been blowouts, have not been any close games, so. You got LeBron James, he had a good game on Saturday night, and of course the people are going to come out and say he is the best player that's ever played the game, and I'm going to do a video about that later. So I'm kind of trying to go in different directions as far as this channel goes, because, you know, I don't want to keep talking about the same thing, talking about this, that, racism all the time. It just gets tiresome all the time, so you don't want to keep... um talking about that stuff all the time but I want to get into this now I have seen because yes a couple of days ago was the royal wedding and you know a lot of people were so excited about it jumping up and down oh my god we got a black princess and this that and the third and I'm like okay I, I, I wasn't going to sit there and watch no wedding I wasn't going to do it I mean, they got married. Great. That's good for them. I particularly don't care. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me not one bit. Some people just, they want to watch it on TV. They want to, I mean, they just want to be a part of everything. And this is the problem what black people have. They want to be accepted by white people all the time. You know, and it stems from... It goes back to the Starbucks incident. The police was called on those two black brothers from Starbucks. They got arrested. You know, people were protesting out there. People were begging. Um, to have a sit-in. They were black people, clergy members, going into Starbucks, staging a sit-in and I, I'm just looking at people and I'm saying we lower ourselves our standards so high just to be accepted by those who don't really like us there was a reason why that lady called the police on those guys she didn't like them she didn't want them there and now I guess a rule was changed I read a, a couple uh, yesterday or something like that that Starbucks patriots can go in a restaurant and sit down and go to the bathroom without buying anything. So, you know, a lot of black people are going to call that a victory because now they're going to be able to go to Starbucks. They're going to be able to go sit down and use their internet. Technically, I don't care for Starbucks like that. I don't haven't been there in a while. So regardless if I've gone there, I don't go there like that. So... You know, it is what it is. I don't go into Starbucks like that. But, and then you have incidents at Waffle Houses and other places where people, where white folks will call the cops on black people. And then these black people will continue to go and continue to beg to be accepted by people that don't want you around them. If somebody doesn't want me around you, I'm not going to go. 
I'm I'm just not going to go. And I told people this. I'll go to a poppy store. Those of you know what a poppy store is. It's them little them stores in the neighborhood. Okay. And no, they don't just have them in the hood. Because I, I, cause I already know where the people are going to go with this. No, they're not in the hood. All poppy stores are not in the hood. And number one, and and those little small stores in the, in the small neighborhoods, they have good food. And I got a cheesesteak for four dollars and a soda for for four. I probably spent seven dollars. But if you go to a regular cheesesteak place, you're probably paying twelve to fifteen dollars for a regular sized cheesesteak. So at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it just baffles me that, you know, black people, you know, I've seen forgiving white people for calling them names, forgiving them for getting punched in the face, and it just stems back to me, it's like it's 2018. You don't need to go and stage no sit-ins, you don't need to do that. Because you can go out there, you can go to black owned businesses, you can put black money in your own communities, but you will still go out there and then complain about racism, but still will go out there and go to the same people, those same people that say they don't like you. And to me, I'm not going to get mad anymore, outraged of what white people do. That them that I can't I'm not gonna do it because you know who they are. I know what they about. So me getting mad and snapping and calling names and saying I wanna get up I already know who what they about. So me, me sitting there being outraged, what is it gonna do? Because if you're not gonna do anything about it, then don't come on here name calling saying you don't like this, you don't like that. Oh, I want to call for separation. First of all, where are you going to go? I just ask questions. Where do you want to go that's the, the claim that some of you want to have separation? Where are you going to go? Because, I mean, I would, I would go if you have a solution to where you're going to go you're going to have a town but none of us people black people are, are willing to create towns to go back to black wall street because they love to be in the white man's shop i went into a jamaican restaurant yesterday and brought some food some jerk chickens i was in jamaica um like a couple of weeks ago and the food was pretty nice food was pretty nice i love their food and everything But I don't, to me, I just really don't go out to restaurants like that because to me, the food is expensive. And I believe you can eat at home, cook your own stuff at home, go to little black stores, and their stuff is more cheaper at those stores anyway. But y'all love going to those high class restaurants where half the time your, your own kind is not even in there. I just don't I just don't understand and then people get mad at me and say well you telling us just to stay home I'm not telling you to stay home I'm telling you to if you're going to complain about racism then take your dollars and invest it into other communities that's what you need to do that's how stores grow put it in the other communities stop going to the mainstream stores some of the mainstream stores their stuff is not even good It's not even good. Just stop. Don't cry about racism. Don't cry about white supremacy. If you can still going to continue to fund it. You still going to continue to go to these stores and have these people choke you out, tie you up, and not tie you up, knock you out. Um call the cops on you but you still go into these stores that's what I'm saying and then people will come on here and say oh 
you a coon. You a coon because you're defending white people. And for those who saying that, you're, you're clueless anyway. You're clueless. Because not one time have I defended what racist white people do. What I'm saying is, what's the point of going to a store? What's the point of complaining about racism when you're still going to go and fund white supremacy, fund their racism by not taking your dollars and investing it in the black community? That's what I'm saying. Don't complain about people treating you bad, but you're going to continue to go into those same stores and be harassed and call names and get the cops called on you. And then you want to cry racism. And then the very next day, you want to go into those stores and give them their money, give you their money. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And that's what I wanted to get on here and, and talk about today because I just, I'm tired of the complying and the complaining about racism, but you're still going out there patronizing these people. You're still going out there begging to be liked by these people, but then you're crying racism. Stop crying racism if you're not going to do anything about it. Support black owned businesses. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel.